Speaking of the election, now to the latest on the race for the White House. We have two weeks, as we said, until Election Day. Early voting, as we said, already underway in states across the country. Both campaigns are really seeking now to drive their supporters to those polls. Voter turnout is a big issue. Elected officials are working to ensure that they get their ballots and cast them and that they remain safe as well. So our Bree Jackson is live now from our nation's capital. Uh, Bree, what are you learning tonight? So good afternoon. So here on Capitol Hill, there's a new report that Senate Democrats released today that is urging Americans to vote early and have confidence in the election process, while lawmakers are also stressing that this is a close race and it is likely that the outcome will not be known on November 5th. Millions of Americans across the country eagerly casting their ballots as more states begin early voting. Everyone is talking about this election. This is the biggest election in about eight years. Former President Obama campaigning in Wisconsin to help kick off early voting there as the Harris Walls campaign unleashes its top surrogates during this final stretch. Harris seeking to reach more voters on her own by taking part in more media interviews, including with NBC News. Former President Trump doing outreach across voting blocks, holding multiple events with faith leaders and Latino voters. I don't know, but I don't know, but it's going to be close. Trump is also attempting to raise doubts about this year's election while admitting he's seen no evidence of fraud. Have either of you seen any cheating, incidents of cheating, that leads you to believe that this election will not be fair? Well, I haven't. Election officials and law enforcement releasing this ad warning of consequences for election interference. What will not be tolerated is acts of violence or intimidation. Celebrities are raising alarms about deep fakes designed to mislead Americans. This voter expressed confidence that their voice will be heard. I feel like my, my vote is safe. With voting underway in a tight race, officials stress there are systems in place to ensure every vote is counted. And U.S. intelligence agencies warn that Russia is continuing its efforts to undermine our elections, which includes circulating false stories, some aimed at inciting violence. Federal leaders are reminding people to be aware of election misinformation and to stay vigilant. Back to you. So, Bria, we know that Vice President Harris has a sit-down interview with NBC's Hallie Jackson tonight. What is the expectation from this? Well, this is part of uh, Vice President Harris's media blitz. We do know that she's been hitting the campaign trail more and doing more interviews. Now, we do expect uh, Hallie to talk about some of the key issues that voters are concerned about. That includes the economy. That includes the direction of Vice, President's, uh, Vice President Harris's uh, administration, if she is, in fact, elected. But all of this is part of efforts to really engage more voters and to get support to the polls ahead of Election Day. Yeah, trying to get as many eyeballs on their campaigns as possible. Thank you so much, Bree. We really appreciate it.